Alright, so note that the lobe is not activating the valve in any way, shape, or form. My dial is a zero. I start turning the wheel and watching the gauge. And as soon as I start seeing it go to one millimeter lift, which I will get to right about there, it's at 114. A little bit more exact without having to hold the camera. It's 114.5. Then you watch it go through, depressing the valve all the way, and then it comes back, starts returning. And I'm watching this little dial here as it approaches the four. Make sure I get it. Exactly right. It's a little tough to do this with a single hand. You gotta go back. You gotta always try and go in one direction. Say that's at zero. Before. Actually, it's after bottom dead center. And that'll show me. This is my bottom dead center mark, which on this degree wheel, which is a 180 degree degree wheel, which isn't optimum. The best is to have it set up where you have. Uh, 90 degrees on either side. It's a little bit easier to deal with. This one's hard to see with this. Anyway, you have to do a little bit more calculation with this uh, and you have to know that it's after bottom dead center so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 and I'd come up with 52.5 after bottom dead center. You add up the two you get 67, then you add 180 degrees to that, sorry, 180 to that, which is 247. Then you divide 247 by 2, which gives you 123.5. Then you subtract the first number, which gives me 109.5. Now my target is 108, but that's what this, uh, those cam locking tools had it set at, which is 